Greetings everybody. Today we're going to talk about immune system and how to improve it. So first of all, understand that health is our natural state and your body and everybody's body wants to come back to that natural state, homeostasis. So it willing to come back to that perfect health for yourself. All you have to do is remove the blockages, right? Remove the obstacles, whatever it is, stress in your life, uh, pollution around you in the form of food that is not clean, maybe emotions that are polluting you or thoughts, negative thoughts. But today we're going to do some physical practice and some other things that might help you to boost your immune system and get yourself into that stronger state. So heart is a very powerful uh, pump that we have. So we're going to do a few exercises to improve the blood circulation, lymphatic system, and uh, three parts. We're going to work on the upper collarbones, chest, and then the lower rib cages. So we're going to stimulate those areas. So first bring your hands into the peaceful fist, thumbs inside, and you're going to be stimulating your collarbones first. So you're going to be hitting it right there where the collarbones meet. And you can also, you can do it silently, you can do it in a chair or standing up. And you can do this with the sounds, he he ha ha. So it's almost like you're laughing, it's like a clown chakra and then you are stimulating your uh, thymus there. So he he ha ha, he he ha ha. You can do it fast, you can do it slow. Again, breathing deeply and do this for two minutes, three minutes, maybe even five minutes. And it's all right to experience some pain. You know, you don't want to have the ouch, ouch, ouch pain, but you also don't want to feel nothing. You want to make sure you feel something because healing is a feeling. So we are stimulating with the sounds of he, he, ha, ha. You can also close your eyes, focus on your third eye. He, he, ha, ha. 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 He he ha ha he he ha ha he he ha ha. Good. So after you're done, you've done it for two minutes, three minutes. You can sit down, pause, take a break, connect your thumbs to your index fingers, and just feel that energy that you created within yourself now resonating and shining into every direction, every part of your body. Some of you might experience tingling sensations, certain vibrations, heat, you might be sweating, all the good stuff is happening to you. So again, listen to your body, don't overdo it because if you release too much energy, you might feel uh, not so good either. So find that perfect balance, right? So this is the first one. The next one is your middle, um, chest. So with the same peaceful fist, find the area where it's the most painful maybe and we're going to be stimulating that area with the sound of ha 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 and make sure you are feeling good you are uh, making that noise ha ha with your eyes closed focusing on your third eye ha 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 Is it play with your emotions you can go into the different realms of emotions that you do this you might feel a little bit of compassion towards yourself or you might feel a bit of love towards yourself you might feel some pain that you can get angry at yourself for being weak in the past all that stuff whatever helps you to grow so that's the next area you're going to stimulate again after you've done two three five minutes sit down with your index fingers connected to your thumbs and just breathe and feel that energy again you created is shining in every direction in your body. Good. And then the last one is our lower rib cage. So we're going to be stimulating that area with the same fist. And this time we're going to produce a sound. Who, 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 who. Who, 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 who. So 
player arm is a sound, player arm is a speed. Again, you can do this for two minutes, three minutes, five minutes. And after you're done, again, thumbs to the index fingers, place them on your knees, sit down and feel the energy that you created is shining in every direction, making your immune system stronger. Okay, so the next one is another exercise. So out of those three, you can do all three of them or one of them. The most painful area is probably the one that you need the most. So find that for yourself because everybody's different. Again, you might not be able to do it for five minutes, but you might be able to do it for 30 seconds. And next day, you can do it better, longer. So the other exercise to uh, stimulate your heart, we're gonna use the lock. So you have your four fingers locked together and you pulling them apart but they're not going anywhere because they are locked right so visualize yourself you have the walls and they are squeezing you right and as those walls squeezing you want to break those walls with your elbows so you're going to use all your power all your energy in your hands to break those walls to make yourself stronger to make your immune system powerful and strong again we do this with the breath so you're going to take as much air as you can, you're going to inhale as much air as you can and you're going to hold it at the top as you pull on your hands, okay? Same thing, you can close your eyes and focus on your eyebrow center or you can do this with your eyes open, your choice. So let's do it together and we're going to do it three times. So we're going to be inhaling as much air as we can, hold it and then pull on the hands and at the same time, pull the navel in and up as you pull on the hands. And hold it there for a few seconds. Hold it, hold it, hold it. You might notice your body is vibrating. And then exhale, release everything down. And take a few deep breaths. You might notice the heat. You might notice yourself sweating. Take a break. And then immediately, we're going to go back into it again. Another one. Holding that lock, taking a deep inhale. Pull on the hands, pull the navel in and up and hold it there, hold it there. And exhale, yes. good. A few deep breaths again, observe your body, observe the energies that you created. And then one more time with the hands only, take a deep inhale, pull on the hands, pull the navel in and up, hold it there. And exhale, release. Good. So this one also helps to clear the vision, clear the bloodlines. So all the good things will happen to you. So we did three locks like that. Now we're gonna do three locks with our feet. So you're extending your legs forward, you're locking them one over the other one. And the same thing, you're trying to use the power in your legs to separate them but they're not going anywhere because you have that lock. Same thing, you're taking a deep inhale, pull the navel in and up as you hold in that breath. So your hands can be behind your back for support. Taking a nice deep inhale, hold it, pull the navel in and start separating your feet, using all the muscles to use that power within you. Hold it there, hold it there, hold it there. And then exhale, release. Do a few deep breaths, observe your body, and then we're going to do it two more times. So you can relock with the opposite direction, bring your hands behind, take a deep inhale, hold it, pull the navel in and up, separate the feet, hold it there, and go as long as you can. And then when you feel this is, this is it, relax and release. Few deep breath. Last one, we're gonna do it all together, connecting the dots. Your hands, your feet, your navel point, and a large inhale and breath retention. So let's do it. Let's take a nice deep inhale. Hold it, pull on the hands, pull on the feet, pull the navel in and up. Hold it there, hold it there, hold it there, hold it there. And count, count as long as you can to 10, maybe 15. And when you can't do it anymore, 
Exhale, release. And relax. Take a break. Nice. Good. So again, be mindful. All these exercises, you grow towards it. You know, you can uh, find yourself doing it for a second. Tomorrow you can go for two seconds and three seconds. You can do it. All right, so another way to stimulate the heart to improve your immune system is by clapping your hands. So in your hands, you have a lot of energy, a lot of energy. So you can awaken that energy and help your heart by clapping as hard as you can. Maybe put in the music that you love and just do that clapping. The longer you clap, the stronger your immune system will be. So you can do it for an hour. But if you don't have that time, even 10 minutes counts. Whatever amount you can find yourself clapping and switch the position. You can play around, find different parts, maybe some painful parts. Because again, you want to find any area in your hands that is the most painful. And just clap your way into the strong, powerful you. Right, so I'm not going to do it for an hour with you, but you know what to do. Just Find a way, you don't have to have a music, you can sing. You can sing a song that you love and just clap to it. You know, be uh, your own happy conductor, be your own drummer, and keep on drumming to your own beat, right? So clapping your hands is great. And then another one is good for your immune system, it's the bag bands. So any time you wake up in the morning, you naturally feel like you want to get up and stretch. So there is a science to it too, to make that stretch better for you. You also want to take a deep inhale before you get, go backwards. Again, make sure there's no sharp objects around you. And you might want to do it right next to your bed. So your soft, comfortable bed is behind you for support in case you fall. And again, you might want to just do it for a second just to know what it is. First, you take a nice deep inhale. Then you should go into that back bend. After one second, two seconds, ten seconds, everybody's different, you're going to come back down and bring your hands down and ground yourself. It is very common for people to start feeling a little dizzy, uh, you're going to feel certain vibrations around the body. Don't make it scare you. Again, don't push yourself. Don't allow your ego to be like, oh, I can do it for 20 seconds. Just be mindful. It's a very powerful exercise. You're stretching your whole spine and you're going to release a lot of energy. So you don't want to do it too fast, too furious. Take your time. So you can bend the knees as well, separate the feet nice and wide. Take a nice deep inhale. Hold it and then go as far back as you can. And then exhale, bring in everything into the floor. Take a break. And that's it. Maybe just once a day. You can do that stretch once. And then maybe two times, maybe three times. But again, always take a break, breaks in between. Don't overdo it. All right. Then we can also help our chest with some breath techniques. So one of the good breath, breath techniques is couple body breath. It's a very sharp exhalation. So sometimes we have a lot of toxicity, the fumes from the cars and all kinds of pollution going on outside, they get stuck and settled in our lungs. So couple body breath helps to purge it and expel it. So then you have extra room to grow. Your immune system will get stronger. So again, it is somewhere in the middle, so between a deep inhale and very deep exhale. Find a place somewhere in the middle and you are quickly expelling all the air from the lungs by contracting the stomach. So you can bring your hand into the stomach just to feel that energy that pushing all the air out of your lungs. So it's a sharp exhalation, inhalation comes naturally. So don't even pay attention to the inhalation. All you're doing is forcefully and quickly exhaling all the air. So again, everybody's different. You might be going very quickly. Some of you might be going just very peacefully, slowly. 
no wrong. Okay, so bring your hand into your stomach, and with the stomach, you're going to push all the air out of the lungs. Again, you can concentrate on your eyebrow center, and we'll do it together for a few seconds. So again, you can pick up the speed and after 30 days of doing this technique, you can become more and more efficient. Again, in the beginning, take your time. If you've never done it, do it for 10 seconds, 20 seconds. And then after months, you might be a pro. You might be doing it for five minutes, 10 minutes, who knows? So again, you're gonna feel a lot of rush of the oxygen inside and a lot of that crap that we can collect it within will be expelled with a short and quick exhalation. Puts so a couple of bodies a good one. And then we're gonna do a breath of fire. Breath of fire is even inhale, even exhale, very rapidly, very quickly as well. Some in the middle as well. You're not doing a quick, large inhale or exhale. You're some in the middle. And not only we're gonna do it by sitting in a chair or on the floor, we're gonna do it in a downward dog. Because when you go upside down, all the energies from your lower spine starts traveling into your brain, into your heart, and everything starts working for you again better. So again, it's challenging. Make sure you do um, have power within yourself to do it. Consult with your doctor. If that's not for you, you might, you might not be ready, but eventually you will get ready for that exercise. So in a downward dog, you come into the upside down V, spread your toes, spread your fingers, and then your heels might be coming off the floor and eventually they'll be coming closer and closer to the floor. Your head is neutral. You can bend the knees gently, you can keep your elbows gently bent. And in this position, you can hold it just by holding this position, you're already helping your immune system, or you can add the breath of fire. deep breath and you can hold this position with the deep breath for five minutes up to five minutes again everybody's different 30 seconds is good and minute is better but again yoga is not about competition it's about you listening to you being connected to you to your own body good so we have that and then another way to improve your immune system, and in fact, you are improving all the energies within your body, lots of energy inside the body. To, to make them work for you, you can spin. As you remember yourself being a child, kids love to spin, right? So as an adult, we might be getting out of balance. So depending how fit you are, how much energy you have, you can do five spins, or you can go up to 33 spins. So you're extending your hands to the sides, you're looking straight ahead, eyes are open for this one, and as you spin, you're looking forward. And you can count, or you can just enjoy, and after a few, you might say, okay, this is it, I'm feeling dizzy. Some people might be just dizzy watching me, and again, you can start going fast and faster, going like a helicopter. And then after you're done, you, you say, this is enough for me today. You stop, take a break, separate your feet, take a deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Good. So there's a few tools in your pocket. I'm sure there's a lot more different ways to exercise your body to improve your immune system. And those who are looking, you will find it. You don't have to do all these exercises that we did today. You can do just one, maybe the most challenging one for you, the one that you don't like. That's the one you're gonna grow the most from. And then you can also add other things to your, uh, to your life. If you wanna 
really have a strong immune system, always remember sugars and all kinds of artificial sweeteners will depress your immune system. So if you do like sweets, like many of us, replace them with raw honey, the one that is not filtered, that has a good stuff in it, the pollen. Or you can also use a variety of fruits, fruits that you love, they have natural sweetness. So your immune system will be strong, it will not be depressed because of that. Good. Then also you can add natural things like a sun. If you see there is sunshine, go out. Get some sunshine into your body, your skin, your palms absorb a lot of sun and vitamin D so you can use that tool bring your palms up and just sit for half an hour absorbing the sun absorbing that boosting your immune system energy it's free it's for everyone red sun shines for a criminal and a saint equally it gives that energy so use that energy and charge yourself up good so that's one thing uh, spend some time with nature, something that is always helpful and beneficial in the woods, in a park, by the ocean, go for a walk, and then remove things that depress your immune system, especially electronics. If you spend too much time, time with a TV, cell phone, uh, anything that out of the natural sink, because electronics have their own frequency, and then your brain has its own frequency and your heart has its own rate. So electronics usually not in sync with our natural organs. So spend less time with electronics, your immune system will get stronger as well. 